Oh, hey there. I'm going to show you how to change a furnace. Alright, so first thing you got to do is rip the old one out. So take a sawzall and cut your exhaust pipes. Take a wrench and disconnect your gas line. Make sure it's shut off first. Shut off your electric. Cut and disconnect the electric. Low voltage, high voltage. Disconnect all your ductwork. Make sure it's supported up in the ceiling so that it doesn't fall when you disconnect it. Then cut the bricks out from underneath with a hammer or a pry bar and the furnace will come apart. And then you just slide it right out of place. That's how you rip it out. Then you gotta put the new one in place. Make sure it's where you want it. Put it up on bricks too. Next you have to attach your return air. Using quarter inch screws, you can get just about everything done. Use furnace here so it already has an existing hole on the side. Attach the back first, because you can always fix the front, and you don't want to have a gap in the back afterwards. Then attach the front. Using a measure tape, measure up the sides for the plenum. Each side needs to be measured from front to back, from top to bottom in height. Add a couple inches to each of your measurements, so you don't have any mishaps. Make sure you write these measurements down so you don't forget them or screw something up and waste. Cut perfect squares from the sheet metal using your metal snips. Using a bender bar, bend up a quarter inch bend on the bottom sides of each piece. This will be the DFO attachment to the actual fern. Cut and fit S locks to go on the top of the plenum to attach your new pieces of ductwork to. Hold your piece of metal up against where it's going to go and use a sharpie to mark the corners of each of your sides. So you want it to be an inch overhang on each side so that whenever you cut it, it'll fit into the next piece. You can see here I connected all of my marks and I added an inch overhang for the flaps to go into the next slips. The front and back are going to have one inch bends on them and go into the sides with vertical S slips. Here's the left side going into the back. As you can see I added the S slips as I went. There's the right side and finally the front. S slips on top, S slips on the corners and the sides. DFO on the bottom. One solid plenum. After that, attach your exhaust pipes with 2 inch PVC, glue, drain, gas, high voltage and low voltage, and then you're done.